practically everybody in the world is coming to the fair. It's Maker Fair in Rome that we helped organize with Asset Camera and Ricardo Luna. It's very important because it's the first Maker Fair happening in Europe that was imagined from the beginning as a European event. With Massimo Banzi we had a dream, a dream of a huge family event with kids playing with science, technology, innovations, uh, tinkering, dreaming of making stuff and really making stuff. And it was a really a, an amazing dream because it, it seemed crazy for, it, for Italy, where innovation is not so popular. There is many people here that probably can't really afford going to New York for Make a Fair, but I can totally afford going somewhere else in Europe. I've been meeting friends from Sweden, France, Spain, uh, Italy, of course, and Germany here. It's like really, really crazy. People are coming from everywhere. And only yesterday, there was a queue of a thousand people outside. They had to call the police to kind of, you know, uh, stop them from blocking the street. So this Maker Fair was also very important because Intel, the biggest semiconductor and processor manufacturer in the world, decided to come here to announce a partnership between Arduino and Intel, where they designed the first Arduino-compatible Intel board using a new chip they developed called Quark. And the CEO of Intel came over to Rome to tell the world about this new product. And they're really putting a lot of resources in making tools to get makers new powerful tools for developing ideas. Freeze track. I'm Sherry Huss and I'm here from Maker Media. And actually Maker Media is the parent company of Make Magazine and Maker Fair. We started in 2005, the same time as Arduino did, and it's so great that we've grown up together. And Massimo and team from Arduino are really leading sort of the Maker movement. And Make is here to actually help bring it around the world. At Maker Fair Rome, we also announced a new product in collaboration with Beagleboard, Beaglebone Foundation, and TI, we presented this Arduino Tre product, which is a combination of a high-power Cortex A8 uh, ARM processor, which is essentially a full Linux PC with HDMI, the HDMI output, audio input and output, plenty of connections of different kind, and a classic Arduino board on the same PCB. So when you develop your applications, you can decide if you want to run some of the software on the Arduino side for precise, low-level I.O. management and a powerful user interface on the Linux side. My name is Jen, and I'm the co-executive director of Maker Kids. It's one of the only maker spaces for kids in the world. We do a lot of different activities that involve Arduino, uh, such as uh, robots class, inventions class, and toy hacking. So it's, it's really important to us because kids are able to easily uh, program these things. My name is Leah Beakley, and I'm delighted to be here at Maker Fair Rome. I began the Lilypad Arduino project really in 2006. Um, it came out of my own experimenting with building electronic textiles and wearable computers. So I'd done a lot of design work myself and built stuff. And then I became interested in helping other people make electronic textiles and wearables. In Rome, we also continued our partnership with Atmel. Atmel has been sponsoring the Arduino boot for the last few years, and we continue our partnership in Rome. We're sharing the booth, and also we continue to develop products based on the AVR product line, and we're also going to be introducing new product based on the ARM uh, Cortex processors from Atmel.
Hi, I'm David Gauntlet. I'm from the University of Westminster, where I teach. Um, I've written a book called Making is Connecting. People create great communities online for creativity. People can connect up online, they have conversations that they would never have had before. That's really good. But then, having a connection with the real world is really good too. People meeting face to face, having conversations, inspiring each other, seeing the things they've made in real life is really important. So a thing like Maker Fair, which brings together all different kinds of makers to work together, inspire each other. They think, oh, I'll take something from that thing and put it into my thing. That's really powerful. Everybody thinks that Arduino is all about making electronic uh, boards. But actually, what we are about is to give people access to more and more complex technologies and make it easy for the maker movement to achieve more and more. So helping organize a maker fair. We've been working for two years to get partners to be able to organize a maker fair in Europe for the whole of Europe. Achieving this result, getting 200 plus makers and thousands of people in the same place to talk about the maker movement and facilitating collaboration in Europe is sometimes much more important than creating yet another electronic world.